Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about virtual private network or VPN and we will also discuss its types or VPN types. Now to illustrate the idea, let's suppose that uh, a user on this side, that is side A, the sum of the users on side A wants to send some private information to user on some other side, let's say on site B. And if they want to use or if they want to send some private information, then they can establish or they need to establish uh, their own link. So we call it a leased line. And that leased line is basically a dedicated line between site A and site B. And by using that leased line, which is, which is basically owned by those two organizations, they can send their information privately. And let's say if they want to communicate, maybe site A wants to communicate with some other site, let's say site C, then again they need to install a new dedicated line or the leased line in, bin, in between them. And now they can securely exchange their message with each other and, uh, and in future if they, they want to connect with some other site, let's say site D, then in the same way they they need to establish a dedicated link between site A and to site D as well. Now here you can see there's a problem that if the time goes and that organization needs to connect with more and more sites, then it will be challenging and this will also be expensive to install the dedicated lines between these two sites. And if now if these two sites, let's suppose that if these sites are in different countries, then you can imagine the expenses and the maintenance cost for this. Now, in this case, uh, there is a solution that we have a, a already existing infrastructure, like we have the internet. So you can see internet infrastructure. So this is the network of networks. Everyone is using, every can, everyone can have access to this one. Then why not to use this infrastructure for this uh, side to side private link? Now the problem is that as I mentioned that everyone will have access to this internet. It means anyone can actually access our data if we are using this public infrastructure. So in this case, the solution is VPN or the virtual private networks. So virtual private network actually provides a tunnel. So it's a, it's a private network and that private network is created over the public network, like in, in the case of internet. And in this private network, we can have a safe and secure communication. So if we, if we use the PP, VPN, so site A to site B, they can have a private tunnel like this one. So you can see here. And now this VPN actually uses, uh, the VPN use a tunnel to allow the users or the organizations to have access with each other using a private tunnel or private connection in between them. Like I have shown from site A to site B. So in the same way, they can have maybe from site A to site C, they can have the private network, which, which is created with the help of VPN, which is creating, which is giving us a tunnel for communication, and then they can have a private communication between them. Now with this, we have uh, actually two types of VPN to create, to provide a virtual private network. So one is known as remote access VPN, and second one is site to site VPN. In remote access VPN, let's to illustrate the idea, let's suppose that we have a site or we have uh, uh, an organization like this one and some of the employees are working in that organization and let's say some of the employees are there remotely, uh, they're accessing the network remotely, they are working, home from, working from home. Now, if they want to access the private network of this organization remotely, then they can actually establish a VPN tunnel from their location to the private organization's network. And so private, this virtual tunnel will help them to send their information securely, privately from this user to the organization. And for that, 
those users actually need or those clients need to have a VPN software installed in their computers or in smartphones or laptops. Now, the benefit of this remote access VPN is that the clients can access the private organization's network from anywhere. So for example, next time they can have, they can be accessing, so they can change its location. So they can be accessing the same network from somewhere else, maybe from restaurant or from some hotels. So they will have the internet uh, connection and by using that internet connection, they will use this public infrastructure or the, or the internet and then they get, can establish a secure tunnel between their computer to the organization's network. So in this case, this configuration required for VPN is not static. So this will be dynamic configuration. So this will be depending on the location of the users or the point from where the user is going to try or the client or the employee is going to try the access the organization's private network. And sometimes what happens, sometimes, for example, we are in some specific region and that region, for example, we are not allowed to access maybe google.com, but we want to use that google.com. So in this case, maybe we, we can install a VPN client there. And by installing that VPN client, we can actually hide our location because those sites are maybe um, limited or they are not allowed to be used in that location. Then with the help of this uh, this VPN software, we will hide our location and uh, this VPN will give us an, an, uh, a facility where we can configure the location of somewhere else. Maybe for example, on site A, this is not allowed, but on site B, this is allowed. Then we can configure our location to be in site, to be in, in, in site B or in region B. So from region B, we will have access to google.com and in this way, this VPN will help us to hide its location and use the uh, sites which are maybe restricted in, in the actual location B where we are working. So, so this is one of the applications and of course this employee example is also there. So this is the example of remote access VPN and the next one is site to site VPN. Now in this side to side VPN, let's say we have one organization with uh, two branches or maybe two organizations and they want to get connected with each other over VPN. So in this case, they will have some nodes or some devices like this one. And those devices will have a static configurations. Um, but the users on these sites, on, on these sites, they will not be, I mean, this, they will not be aware of any VPN connections and they don't need any software to install. They don't need any VPN software there. And with the required configuration, they can actually create a VPN or secure tunnel using the public infrastructure and the communication through so those two points will be secure. And the devices used for this uh, for creating this VPN tunnel between two sites can be router, firewalls, or VPN concentrator, or Cisco ASA. Now, this will this tunnel, which I need to mention, so in any case, if any we are creating VPN, this tunnel is going to provide us confidentiality. So confidentiality means this will be providing some services like encryption. So information will be hidden and then this will also make sure that nobody will be able to change the contents and if there will be some changes then this will be notified at this point and uh, that message will not be entertained that will not that message will not be accepted so we have the component we call integrity so integrity means ensure the message has not been changed from source to destination or somewhere else and then this also actually provide the services of authentication. So authentication means yes, they, they want to make sure that whatever I'm receiving that is from the authenticated node or authenticated user. So authentication is also provided by using this VPN uh, connections. And then also we have anti-replay attack. This also saves from the anti-replay attack. So these are some of the benefits of this VPN. And so we discussed these two types of VPN, client-side VPN and side-to-side VPN. And uh, 
one uh, last slide is about the VPN implementations. So these virtual connections or virtual tunnels can be implemented or can be created at layer two as well as layer three. And if you want to create maybe at layer two VPN, then we have a protocol that's L2TP. So layer two tunneling protocol. So there are many protocol I've just, just mentioned one of them. And if you want to create the tunnel or virtual uh, private network on layer three, then we have IPsec, Internet Protocol Security, and also we have GRE, Generic Routing Encapsulation. So we will discuss uh, IPsec in details in our next video. And this was just the, uh, the introduction about VPN and its type. I hope to see you in my next video on IPsec.